Hey doodlers, I had an idea to share a how-to video with you guys. I think you will get a kick out of this, okay? I have used Doodly to create these little custom business videos for people. They put them on their website or their Facebook pages. They're maybe about a minute or so long, and what they do is they're just meant to take their business message and how they solve people's problems and kind of condense their message, their little sales pitch into about, as I said, about a minute or so. Um, something that you, again, can use on your blog, your website, your social media, just enough to catch people's attention without making it too long and to give people a fun little animated visual so that they can associate your business and your message and a takeaway from it, okay? Just something to grab people's attention. So I've created several of these and they've gone, you know, they've been a hit. People really get a kick out of them and um, I've actually had fun showing them to people as well. So now I'm gonna teach you guys how to do them. Might be a really cool little business model for you. So I'm going to use a friend of mine's uh, video as an example. She is the owner of Not Now Mom's Busy. It's a website dedicated to work from home, jobs and opportunities, you know, freelancing, side gigs, all that kind of thing. So when she gave me permission to go ahead, use her video as an example. So what I do with these videos and what you will probably want to do if you are going to create a voiceover is create your text first. Okay, so I don't even bother creating the video until I create the text and the voiceover. That way, and then I bring them all in. Okay, then I create the video around them. If you are not going to use any kind of a voiceover, any kind of a script, then you can go ahead and you can create your video. Okay, but for this one, we're doing the voiceover, we're doing the text. First thing I do, all right, as you can see here, I have a text document with my script. The way I got to this script was I went to, now my friend Corey gave me full reign to go ahead and just come up with the script myself, okay? However, if you're going to do this for somebody else, you can ask them if they have a script in mind, in which case, you know, maybe you would just read it yourself or they can even read it themselves if they wanted the audio to be in their own voice, okay? But if you're the one creating the script and you don't really know what to say, then what you do is you get to know their business a little bit, what it is they do. You come up with a scenario about what kind of person would want that business, okay? What kind of person would pay attention to this sort of video? Well, people who hate their jobs, people who don't want to have to commute anymore, people who want to stay at home and, and work, people who are looking for side hustles or freelance gigs, that kind of thing, would be interested in Not Now Mom's Busy. So what I did was I created a little blurb which was, you know, whether you need a break from commuting to the office or you want to stay home with the kids or just being in charge of your own career inspires you, blah, blah, blah. Then you've come to the right place. A little bit about Corey when she started this website. And then all of this here, basically, I just took right from her website, okay? This is the place to find legit work from home, home-based businesses, side gigs, and freelance opportunities. And then this whole thing here about managing working from home and family life, okay? And that is what went into the script, okay? And then the rest is mine. You'll find resources, current job opportunities, and articles geared toward helping you succeed online, and so be it. I mentioned the ebook and that kind of thing, okay? And then just a little closing, you know, to start this whole thing, just visit, you know, her website, okay? And I just named it. So... I went to Audacity, and if you don't know what Audacity is, I will make sure to link a video in the description box. Um, you'll probably see it in the cards, maybe even the end screen, where I show you guys how to use Audacity to create your voiceovers and bring it into Doodly, okay? But it'll make this a very long video. So, once you do that, okay, you go to Audacity, free program, you record your script, okay? You might do it several times, it's okay. All right, you may as well just practice, get good at it, become proficient. You'll be happy you did. You'll read the whole thing in Audacity. You'll save it as an MP3, and then you will bring that MP3 into Doodly. All right, you'll get to see, and here is the voiceover. All right, and here is some background music that I had put in there. You don't have to have music, but I chose to put music in it. And as you can see here, I've got it at like 6%. 
I really don't want the music loud. I want them to hear me and my message. I do not want my voice and the music to compete with one another. You'll get people turned off by that right away. I learned that as I started to go along, okay? Here, my voice, however, is at 100%. So that's just a little tidbit for you, okay? So what you do here, you look and see, okay, very good. I made sure that the voiceover was not going to be, I didn't want it any longer than a minute. I wanted her to be able to use it on Instagram, and Instagram only allows you up to a minute, okay? So, and as you can see here, everything else ended just before a minute as well, okay? And then at the end of this, I will show you how to turn this into an Instagram video as well, because this is formatted as a 720, all right? So we go back here. So what I typically do here, okay? I read or listen to what the beginning has to say. So what is, uh, you know, whether you need a break from commuting, you wanna stay home, blah, 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 all right? So here, we've got, this is balance, all right? So I just kind of, and this is right from Doodly. I believe this is right from Doodly. I think, actually, if we go into props, if I type in scale, Yep, there it is. Okay, so this is Doodly Rainbow. And if you <laughs> if you want to know a little bit about Doodly Rainbow, then I have another video for you that you can check out. All right. Or no, actually, this is user imported. My bad. But you can see here, Doodly has a ton of them. And if you turn on Rainbow, then you'll get, you know, lots of different little icons here. Okay, so I brought in this scale. All right, um, I, had, I brought it in, I believe, as an SVG. I have another video on that as well, where you can find SVGs for free. And this is definitely one of Doodly's characters that I brought in. So I'm just telling a little story here. You know, she's wanting balance and she's looking to work from home. All right, what I do here is I always set it so that there's a couple seconds after each scene, just to give people a little bit of time to digest what it is that they've just watched instead of flying off to the next screen. My earlier videos, you do see that. They're just, the screens are flying by and definitely a mistake that I believe I've learned from. Okay, so here I just went to the scenes. I think, yeah, the pre-made scenes and I looked through and this is what you'll do. You'll look through and you'll find something that resonates with you, perhaps, or you can always build a scene. You know, maybe in another video, I'll show you how to build a scene, okay? But in this case, all right, I went ahead and chose this scene. I may or may not have added the plant. I don't know. I think I added the kid and I definitely added the rug. And I, yeah, because that that's my user imported rug. All right, so what I did was I created a mom and here she's able to work from home and here's her child, you know, able to kind of hang out with her in the same room. She can keep an eye on him. And um, and he's sitting on this fabulous rug here, you know, with his rattle and everybody is happy because she's getting her work done, earning her livelihood, being able to also spend time with her child. Okay, so I've told the story. All right, just told a little story. Okay, and what I typically do also is I go through here by default, all of these elements are going to be three seconds long. I go through, all right, as you can see here, and I make them all like, I don't know, a second or two, not even two. I make them around a second, okay? Because you just don't really need, and if there's an element here that you might wanna draw a little more attention to, then you can always leave that a little bit longer. But if every single element here is three seconds, you're gonna have a very long video, all right? Again, just food for thought. And again, the scene has two seconds at the end of it, okay? Then I go into introducing Corey. For this, very simple. I just took a screenshot of her homepage, okay? And it comes right in as the normal, like little doodly scribble that happens when you import a, a JPEG or a PNG without any kind of drop paths, but it's fine. You don't, this does not need to be drawn in, okay? I talk about her a little bit, all right? This is probably where I'm talking about, you know, when she started Not Now Mom's Busy and all of this stuff, okay? And what I do is, is I'm listening to the audio at times as I'm kind of going along so that I can navigate how long to make a scene, where to put it, at what time, okay? So if it, I don't know, if at around 27 seconds or so, I'm starting to talk about Corey, this is where I would make it 
make sure to put this particular screen in. If this scene here, all right, was a little too long and it was going off to like 30 seconds, I would possibly just take it, slide it right over. All right, that's what you do. And then I would be able to put the next scene in at the right time, okay? Next one goes here, you know, I'm top listing what she's doing. Okay, what will you get from this? You know, current work from home jobs, the business ideas. So there's like four things there. So I just wrote that down, threw in a little, a little something there. This is a, this, I imported this. This was from a video pack that I had purchased. I have a video on that as well. But um, yeah, that's what I did. Just a little, hey, she's working from home on the floor. There's her baby next to her, you know, and this is what's possible. Okay, and then right here, we are talking about finding the resources and the job opportunities and all of these things, you know, so tips on how to do all of these things. Okay, so again, these are, uh, I'm not sure, this, this was the job board. <laughs> this is somebody working on a blog, you know, working from home. Blogging is a work from home opportunity, there's no question. This is probably networking, okay? And then at the end of it, I close it out, you know, just I threw in a, an image, I took a screenshot, very simple. I took a screenshot of her work from home book, okay, the guide to success, threw in a little blurb, and here is her website, and then very simply, who created this video, all right? So that's what I did. You may or may not put that at the end, but that's what I did, okay? And this, my friends, is how you create a little custom business video, okay? So what we're gonna do real quick is, as I said, this is all, and you preview as you go along, you save it, all right? And you definitely don't wanna export this at anything less than a 720. Um, but if your computer can handle it and if you're going to sell them and stuff, you know, you can always do the 1080, um, you know, the, the nice high definition one. These are high def, but, you know, um, but 720 is great if you don't have a lot of room or if they're not too, too picky. I mean, it's not, you don't have to have a super clear video for something like this, but, you know, like I said, it would be cool if you can do something a little bit higher def. And here... If you wanted, you can custom the whole thing and you can also do a Facebook and Instagram version. You would click on this and what would happen is you would just hit apply and it would reformat your entire video, okay? And this is what it would look like. So in this case, what I would tell you to do, all right, you save your original one, all right? So it would be like, this is not now mom's busy. You export it. Then you would go to your settings, change the size, put in just something here to create a different title. You know, you can add something to the title. You can put FB and Insta, okay? Save it, export it again, and it'll save it as a new video instead of replacing the video you just saved in the other format because you don't want to do that. So guys, I hope that you got something out of this. I hope that this inspires you to take Doodly and create a really cool little business model for it, even if it's just to create your own video. I have done all of my course introductions using Doodly, um, and I've, I even did a conclusion with one. Um, I've done the little marketing videos using Doodly as well, you know, for, for my courses. So I've totally used it. And then I've done them for other people as well. So it's just something, you know, you can certainly just have some fun with it. Start with your own. If you have a blog or if you have, funny enough, I haven't done one for my own blog. But if you have a blog, if you have a business, start with your own and practice with it, get great at it, and then show it to people and, you know, market it. And you can probably get yourself some business because, People look at these videos and I've, you know, I've seen the expression on their faces when I've showed it to them and they just look like they're happy when they're watching it. They're like, this is so cool. I want one or something to that effect, you know. So guys, like I said, I hope this helps you. I just wanted to share this information with you. I think we are all in need of some creativity and some happiness and prosperity and opportunity. And if there's anything that I can do to help you guys with that, then it is my pleasure. Okay. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, feel free to subscribe if this is your kind of thing. I have a whole playlist. I'll make sure you guys get to see it. I show you really cool stuff, um, how to use Doodly and do other things, you know, digital creative wise. And I wish you all well. Until next time, take care.